achieved our fullest potential because somebody spoke that into existence. It's not that God designed you that way, but somebody said, you don't sound fully, boy. And then you grow up as a dumb and fool boy. Because the word was spoken. Well, first and foremost, I would have to give thanks to Rev. Michael Akins from a younger age, giving me the opportunity to be a member of the Victory Academy where I develop the basic and physical skills to endure in the world. So I won't have to turn to crime and violence. This is a collaboration of pastors, police, youth and youth. In fact, we have a youth right, well right now. Uh, social workers, nurses, yes. community advocates, principals, and anybody in Buff Bay who really wants to see Buff Bay united for life. We have been working on a number of projects for many, 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 many years. Um, young people getting rehabilitated, young people being engaged in sports, activities, shut-ins, etc. Now, he has been a very positive and very potent role model I have seen young persons who would have otherwise gone into crime. Mm. I have seen them um, being so attached to him. He uses his truck that he has, he'll pick them up, he'll take a number of them, even 20 of them at a time, mm. to go do football, to say, um, excuse me, thank you, please, um, to be very kind, to be very gracious. I know if he was not around, and if he was not um, doing all that he has been doing for the many years, we would have a much higher crime level in Buff Bay. And I'm being very honest that the work that he has put in for the past, past possible 15, 20 years, it has borne fruit in many ways. We hang out together and he teaches us right from wrong and help us to be a better person in society. Well, Mr. Michael Lakin has been, you know, one of the most influential persons in my life. So my temptation I faced myself. Growing up without a mom, my dad was hardly around because of work. So I had to be a man really early. He played a major role and gave my life a good, make a good impact in my life as he formed a program where most of the youth in the community who play soccer, not even soccer, basketball and many other things teach us about the Lord teach us to read so he give our life being around him meeting new people going places yes, um, Reverend Michael Lakin has been like a role model from day one first he has a grassroots program, football program, where it teaches us oh, the basics to football, which has developed um, our talent from a tender age up till now. So I like to appreciate him for such act. He's an educator. He has he has done so many things for this community. Here, he's called coach. In fact, a lot of people don't call him Reverend Aiken or Michael Aiken. He's called coach because he coaches not just football but way of life. He coaches how to live with principle and honor and integrity and dignity, and that's what he does. And if we are ever in doubt, he will consult with me. I will consult with him, and we have persons, elders, who we will also consult. Teach us to respect for all. Well, he is like his father. His father was a community man, and he, he had that. He had that the footsteps of his father. You Some, somebody trouble you, and you get upset, and you plan to like stab them, shoot them, or do anything, or chop them. And they killed my daddy, and they are threatening me. And they are cursing bad words of their people and they are, tra they are tracing people to kill. Hey, 
a disagreement with someone and you know the next thing is that they are threatened most times they are threatened in this in this parish person will carry their threats that means you can be either chopped up or you can be either shot or killed probably some of us end up dead so to jail if you're lucky <laughs> but most of the time you end up dead uh, you know I, I could have dead that night wow you know so if you really look you look and you said you know what are you really doing is it yeah. worth it is it really worth it right you're here and you just someone kill you just like that is it really worth it for living the wrong way the wrong life recently we had the death of a young person that was killed by another young person and it has been said that it has to do with gang related issues but what we have found out is that because of lack of parenting these are the reasons why most of these persons turn to gang they turn to gang to assist them by feeding them by clothing them and you know they want that motherly love they want that fatherly love so they tend to find it in the gang What about good dreams? Good dreams like somebody help the one another. Any man who beat a woman will be put out of church immediately. No question asked, no discussion. Lord, we pray in your hands. Man. Hey man, hey man, hey man, <laughs> hey man, referees, hey, hey the match is over, man. the match is over, come on man, rest man, rest, rest, I want victory for the days, my umba, no man, let's see him on down, you go encourage him and say, don't worry, Rivaldo, don't worry, who did that, who did that, who did that? Right? don't worry, Rivaldo, you going to win the next time, okay, let me tell you, again, let me tell this with you, all negative things up here is not accepted, if we have one more negative talk, everybody will go home, or everybody take beating. It's a game, dude. We're playing a game. Right. No. It's not personal. Come here, come here, Valo. Okay. Let me tell you come once on. again. This house is dedicated to positive things, positive talk, positive action, nothing that's negative. So you can't laugh at your friend and go, go and beat him. Because we believe that sports and music is the way forward to, to the youths the negative energy into something like. positive. So what made you so tough so, uh, and strong? Like you grew up and learned to be strong? No, I made go tough iron. 
Being a male. Being a male. Is a matter of birth. A matter of birth. Being a man. Being a man. Is a matter of choice. A matter of choice. I choose. I choose to be a man. Touch me, man. All right. That's All right. And a man is strong. Physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. God has placed in all of us some greatness that must come out. But we keep stopping the coming out because we keep destroying each other verbally, physically, and sexually. There's a group of us as pastors and community leaders. If we hear about it, we have come in your yard. I said, listen, stop trouble little bit. I want to hear what I said. If we are set, I'm running a chain line without coming on there. Um, Reverend A. cannot come in as our mediator or a person that we can make a referral to. So we start, we initiate, we initiate the initiation. If we find out that we need assistance, then we will call on our Reverend A. King and you know, we try and see how best we can assist our troubled youths, in, in, especially in Buff Bay. Um, we have recommended them to police youth clubs and other groups and this is where they come and they can get some time to vent what is inside and you know we give them that opportunity to to be leaders so they can at, at one stage we will put them to so your in charge for the night and he has helped me get into so college and you know now i'm a graduate of the midland bible institute where i study theology so now i'm here just helping the youths again, giving back what I've received over the years. Mr. Michael Hickins also, he also um, makes me wanted to become, um, wanted to earn a degree because he has shown us that he has been to um, one of the most are the best university in the United States of America, which is Harvard, and that has been a very good motivation for me. And I also has the dream to be there sometime. I feel happy. That is not the best. The mm. government can step in, build more library, build street side library, mm. and educate the youth them. So I'm telling you already, poverty with crime. Education is part of food. Mm. You teach me, you give me education, you give me food for life. People kill because enough of them now no not have any education. They kill for getting money. Thinking twice, so I think the wrong first then the right come to your mind to so yeah, well, say you just walk away from each other. I didn't get a proper education and that's the reason why I am struggling right now. A guy from some past argument over the years hide behind a shop and chop me as I walk by. Not everyone would want to live with something like this on their shoulder. I did at first, it was like, you know, I'm gonna make sure you feel more than what I'm feeling. It's hard for you really to stay away because if, if it wasn't for my kids, I guarantee this time I would be joining my friend in prison. I made them a promise, I would do my best to make sure they got the proper education. Mom. So if I should seek any form of revenge to get myself in any problem with the law, Mm -hmm. I know their hopes. And I'm asking you, please, just let this one go. My past life is that um, you, would, you never know what tomorrow brings. But after being around Mr. Aikens and we move from that life, no one just try to live as basic human beings, just being friendly with everyone, try to live in peace. That changes. You go home comfortable. You have nothing on your mind. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's really tough still. I can't tell you. We suffer with fear. Fear mm. cripples us. He doesn't have that. The one fear I've seen him have is the fear of God. He fears no one and he fears nothing. He will go in any inner city community. He will go in any district and he is not afraid to stand and talk and speak and call and name things as they are. And he equally is not afraid to call the peace if he has to. He is not right afraid to pull political leaders together and speak to them. He is right not afraid of anyone per se. So he's not right crippled here. by fear. So if he's taken from right this here. community, say for two months, for three months, he would be able okay. to speak light and life and transform just about any community. He has is is like he was born for that. All I've done over the years is ask some young males to follow me. So if I go preach at a church, they come with me. If I go preach on a political platform, they come with me. If Wonderful coach.
wonderful believer, very spiritual, very religious. He helped me in a lot of ways just by talking to me, encouraging me. You know what I mean? Right now I'm married and he's the one that encouraged mm. me to get married. I've known Coach Akins from all my life. Right well, right now, my community definitely need a sports center and more role models like Mr. Michael Akin that can help the community to grow from strength to strength because I've seen where persons that have been through this program like for example to college doing good things and they're, they're, they have made some impact on society thus far. <laughs> Yes I, yes, I think it's very effective, especially in the earth, for example, the young youth, I have been, I've been observing that, especially for Mr. Akins, he will keep them under his wing, he'll mentor them, he'll coach them. And when he needs help, he, he, he will be counting, counting on, on us. Well, where do I hang on to? That man tries to yo, would you? I don't want to die. Piano, Emiliano. Yeah, man, piano go. Talk to them. Piano go move their home like that. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, drive smoothly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Emiliano Etran is a student intern here with a company called Artist Research and Risk Modeling. They look at issues of crime and violence in places like Syria, Afghanistan, Tajikistan, Libya, all over the Middle East, and they look at the causes and outcomes of crime and violence from a scientific perspective. They do research trying to see what causes, what causes big man for all little boy and children and squeeze it, or what causes man for stab man, or stab a man, or shoot, or abuse verbally, or abuse sexually. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.